Hello, my beautiful souls, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your daily tarot reading for Tuesday, May 10th, 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. Do keep in mind this is general for your day for all 12 signs, so just take what resonates. But as well, thank you in advance for your love support, um, love and support in the form of likes, comments, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. But we're going to begin and keep it simple and pull for each quarter of the day, one card for each, or maybe two depending, uh, from the Sacred Forest Oracle deck. And then we'll further speak upon each quarter, clarify, if you will, with the small everyday tarot. So let's do some shuffling. It's saying a day to be in charge, a day to be in charge of your own destiny, potentially. Okay, it's powerful. For my beautiful souls for Tuesday. Okay, first out beauty. What else do we have? Okay. Makes sense that we got the leadership card when they were saying it's a day to be in charge. Um, let's put these here because I just want to cover that spot. Um, it's going to be a little difficult to see. You don't need to see the bottom of these. Anyways, so um, beginning with beauty and underlining focus on prosperity. Okay, knowing more is about to come in the upcoming days. I feel like the second half of this week in particular, but I feel as if a lot of you are um, working towards a multitude of levels, right? Different levels of prosperity, um, feeling as if the fruits of your labor is starting to um, come to be in the upcoming weeks. Don't let Mercury retrograde um, slow you down. <sighs> to an extent, allow for yourself to go with the flow and don't uh, force it pace-wise. But at the same time, don't expect the prosperity, the benefits, the rewards to be minimalized due to Mercury retrograde being around the corner. Or rather, this is the day when it starts. Um, but we're beginning with beauty once again for the first quarter. So let's see what we get for this. What do we have for beauty for this first quarter of Tuesday? Queen of Cups and the Hierophant. It feels like a little bit of leftover emotion carrying over from Monday. But um, it feels like you could be starting something new in regards to your beauty. Or it could feel as if a fresh start on this Tuesday is just feeling quite beautiful in a lot of ways. You could feel as if um, something you started recently is uh, sparking a new level of uh, attraction about you. Interesting. It feels like a lot of us are getting back to who we used to be or discovering a new version of ourselves, right? A new pep in our step, but just feeling as if um, uh, the emotions are still present, right? But feeling quite confident, admiring oneself and how good looking you are. Um, at the very least, others doing that for you, okay? Admiring you. It just feels like you um, are recognizing that Mercury retrograde starting doesn't mean that change doesn't happen. It doesn't mean that um, your beauty has to be altered, okay? It doesn't mean that you can't take charge of where things are heading or how much you achieve and how much prosperity and success rolls in, okay? Leadership. Interesting, I was just pushed to pull, um, push to push these off the top of the deck. We have the Ace of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like um, these were more meant to further clarify the first quarter of the day, feeling as if um, we're each very much in touch with our masculine side and our feminine side. Um, even if they're a little bit um, uneven as far as which one's feeling more, which one you're feeling more in touch with, you're, there's a bit of a balance there, okay? It doesn't feel like you're fully in your masculine or fully in your feminine. But either way, thinking about your money, okay, and how that you can utilize that to benefit your beauty moving forward. Um, your glow is what I'm hearing. But I do feel like it's just all about a passion, a fresh start. I feel like a spark in motivation to take care of oneself, okay, um, and to move towards your financial goals with the utmost confidence, right? And I feel like um, there's a reminder that um, a change in your motivation to take care of oneself um, or just the reminder to continue certain routines, however it works for you, is going to help you more successfully 
persevere and achieve certain financial goals, certain changes you desire within your individual situation. But leadership, going back to this is a day to take charge. Um, you feel in charge at this point in the day is what I'm hearing. Um, even if you do for whatever reason underneath it all expect the worst or feel as if there's a lot that isn't working for you at this time, we do need to shake things up in order to see different results, okay? It's like you can't just keep doing the same thing over and over or just, um, you know, and then expect the uh, different, completely different result, right? Switch it up and take control of your situation and therefore be the leader of one's life, of your own life. But a second ace, okay, talking about how you feel as if you're pushed to be the leader of your own life and put a sword in a habit or maybe multiple that isn't working for you at this time in order to feel happier, right? The sun does speak upon completion. Um, step up and do what's right for you, okay? Put other people's opinions, judgments out of your mind as I feel like not a lot of them have been coming forth recently, for some maybe, but I do sense that some drawn to this reading would expect others to be very vocal about what they're doing, what they're not doing, where they're planning to move, you know, residence, career-wise, you name it. But I just feel as if there's a reminder that you're blossoming into a leader in your own individual way. And in the upcoming days, you're going to be given a chance to be a leader in a different manner through work, through uh, a project, a hobby, a job, you name it. Um, a business is what I meant to say at the end. I just feel as if this is a day where you're reminded, regardless of what you're actually accomplishing, to um, remember or um, just remind oneself that you, you have the option, the choice, and you should accept that to be the leader within your own situation, to be bold and say, if this isn't healthy for me, goodbye, all right, out of respect for where you're moving, what you want to achieve, and what you intuitively feel is destined for you, again, um, taking charge of your destiny. Activation, okay, this is interestingly, this is what was the one, excuse me, that came out in reverse, and I feel like um, with the page of wands, you could feel as if it's this passionate fresh start that activates within oneself um, a new level of energy i want to say a new level of potentially a new level of uh, motivation to take care of oneself to balance things out to achieve more um, it may feel like you've been a bit sluggish recently and it's kind of uh, they're saying ass backwards bear with me um, or just backwards in general reversed um, that the beginning of Mercury retrograde feels as if this activation is starting and um, things feel a little bit more fast-paced or you just feel as if you can accomplish more but they're saying that's what happens you know these activations these realizations the uh, a bit of cleanup you know reassessing um, stepping up for one's uh, situation does that make sense um, it's like you're pushed to during the retrograde slow down so you can um, reassess and, and uh, remotivate, right? Figure out what's not working to potentially even heal. But it feels like you don't need the slowing down to heal potentially. Some maybe, but it feels like you can handle what you need to accomplish in this day and moving forward because I do sense it's going to be a busy retrograde for most. Okay. With the hanged man and the star. Okay, um, for some, this is going to vary. For some, you need to adjust your perspective on what you're capable of, on what, you, uh, on whether or not something's doable in a short period of time, okay, in a restricted period of time. Others, it just feels like you know what you want and you're not going to settle for less, okay? And it just feels like this activation within you for a lot comes to be where it's like, okay, I either um, remember that I can do this, right? I remember that this is doable regardless of how soon I need to accomplish it or what's happened in the past. But um, for some, it's more so um, you recognize that it's just doable in general, okay? Um, talking about a wish, a desire, a change, potentially. Um, a reminder that you're a star in the making and if you desire to put yourself out there and, and make the money, make the, the progress, the change, then you can do it, okay? It's this boost in confidence, this reminder, this realization, however it works for you. And it just helps you glow, right? You, people are going to notice that if you are um, crossing paths with people at this point in the day. Some won't, but I just feel as if you 
it's like this uh, preparation to celebrate moving forward for all that you're about to uh, achieve, succeed at. Wow. You could be receiving a lot of communication from spirit. It could be more so from other people. I just feel like you're reminded this activation is preparation or the beginning of this day in general for things moving quite quickly for oneself. They're saying except that every retrograde, which I did, we did kind of mention, doesn't mean everything has to completely come to a halt or slow down, okay? The limitations sometimes do get, um, are created within one's mind, heart, and soul because you're expecting it, right? You're afraid of it or it just it's happened in the past to certain others or even to you. Um, so don't create those limitations in your mind um, and just move forward with confidence, okay? Focus. Three of Cups in reverse, it feels like you finish up this Tuesday or get ready to and you're quite focused on what you want to accomplish, focused on um, research or just um, being the leader in your own life, right? It just feels like a very studious or just determined energy, um, magical all the meanwhile. And with the Three of Cups in reverse, it's like you do expect, and especially with all that transpired throughout this day, expect for there to be celebration moving forward but you don't feel as if you are you have all of which to celebrate about yet, okay? It just feels like you know there's some focus and determination, some hard work, or more of which, to take place moving forward until you can be like, celebration uh, ignited, okay? Um, let's, you know, cheers to all that has been accomplished. I feel like it's months down the line before a lot of people will um, feel as if there's a ton to be grateful for interesting um, or just celebrate in one way shape or form you could find that you do have quite a headache by the end of this day from all you're dealing with or a situation that's a little bit noisy one of the slight negatives of this day but it just reminds you why you want to move to a new location or just change it up in one way shape or form or why you're so focused on um, your money your career on making things improved and moving towards the bigger and the better okay and just remember throughout this day in general and especially at the end when you're so focused and um, being quite diligent that doing what's right for you when it comes to the sleep of faith however long it takes to get there or however far away it is if it feels right to you then it's right for you period people will come around and support you if they're meant to be in your situation moving forward okay it just feels like it's going to be, um, they're saying a light and fluffy transition, uh, one that makes you feel as if things are heading in the right direction. Um, it's a day full of love for oneself, an activation within oneself to further uh, activate that, right? Interestingly, repetitive wording. But also, it just feels like you're being reminded that you're moving towards a life that you're meant to love more so, okay? And I feel like on another separate note, people online, or through your business in general, if that pertains to you or loving you for uh, your focus, determination, and consistency, okay? It's a day where you will find that things are heading in the right direction and Mercury Retrograde is not going to hold any of us back, okay? So I hope this was truly helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Go have yourself an amazing Tuesday, and I'll see you next time. Bye.